So I have some sculptures here that I'm working on and, and I've decided I'd like to work on a new character, but I'd like to keep these in the scene as reference. So to do that, I'm going to drop them each onto the canvas. So I can do this and press Shift S. That will drop that one onto the canvas. I'll change to the next tool, which is the elk. I'll move that up here. Press Shift S to drop him onto the canvas. Change over to the uh, little ladybird character and stage that and then press shift s to drop that onto the canvas once i've done that i can now append a sphere i'll turn off the ladybird change to the sphere and the sphere here is is quite small it is on the canvas along with all the rest of these but if i press f it will frame that to the center of the screen and not affect the objects on the canvas clicking alt immediately and clicking here will it will focus on this and now i can zoom in or out on the sphere so i can sculpt away on this and start making my new creature with this as reference. If at some stage I decide I no longer want some of this reference or I want to just delete a part of it, I could hit Control N. Control N will clear absolutely everything off the screen. So uh, everything off the layer, it's effectively this layer clear. So Control N will get rid of all of them. But if that's not what I wanted, if, if instead um, I wanted this guy to remain and I had put him down with his Shift S, I put this guy down with Shift S. I change to the Ladybird and press Shift S. And then I change to my, my sphere, press F. I was working on this and I was happy enough with this, but I just wanted to delete the Ladybird. In this instance, I'd have to go to my eraser tool. So to do that, um, go up here. As long as Auto Hide 2D Tools is not turned on, if this is turned on when you go up here, you won't see any of these tools. So make sure that this is turned off and change and select the eraser brush. This will force you now to drop your currently sculpted object onto the canvas as well. So when we switch here, this eraser brush allows us to erase and we can change our brush size and we only want to erase parts, erase everything on the canvas, but we'll have to remember to erase the object that we're sculpting on as well. So we can erase selectively what we'd like to. Once we're done, we just go back to our sub tools, to our original tool drag it onto the canvas and press T to go into edit mode and we're back in the game. So from here you can continue sculpting and those reference objects will still stay on screen. Hope this tip helps and as usual please do consider subscribing and uh, leaving a comment. Thanks. Bye.